Israel, right? Ano saan natin makikita yun? Tingnan natin sa Exodus chapter 19. Tingnan natin dito. Exodus chapter 19 and verse 5. Tingnan natin na. Sabi tingin nyo dito. Now therefore, if you will obey my voice in you and keep my covenant, then you shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people for all the earth is mine. So, ano yung peculiar? It's like a distinct, uh, special. No? So, may kita natin isa pa. Sa Psalms uh, 135. Kaya natin dito. 135. So, kita natin the hidden treasure is the nation of Israel. Verse uh, 4. Kaya natin dito. The Bible says it, For the Lord had chosen Jacob unto himself, and Israel for his peculiar treasure. Ayan naman, inuod na naman yung peculiar treasure. So, so the treasure is the nation of Israel, placed in the world to bring glory to God. So that's the purpose of the nation of Israel, no? Uh, they are the one who chosen by God to bring glory to Him. But what happened? They repaid, no? Repaid. Hindi sila naging successful. So, it become a nation given, no? A treasure not being invested to produce dividends for God. No? Talagang hindi sila nag-invest, no? Supposed to be, they are the one supposed to be ginagamit ang Panginoon in the ministry, no? I think, I'll, I'll try to look on the uh, Romans kung saan meron doon na, uh, I think, kung magagamit, kung uh, if the Jew will be uh, like us, no? Had been using by God, they will become more effective, no? I think that's one is Romans 9 to 10, I think. So, uh, ganun sila. So, they have chosen to become uh, the representative para sa Gentiles around the world. No? No? Mas effective sila. No. Let there be. The Lord Jesus gave His all to purchase the whole world in order to save the nation. No? Tignan nyo kung gano'n nakamahal ang nation of Israel. In John chapter 11, tignan natin dito. John chapter 11, tignan natin dito. Ha? Verse 51. <coughs> tignan nyo ha. Sabi ng Bible dito, 11 verse 51. And this faith be not himself, but being high priest that here, he prophesies that Jesus should die for, for what? For that nation. No? Hindi na siya naman, it's not only die for all, uh, for all the world, hindi lang, but see, there's a special things about the nation of Israel from the heart of the Lord Jesus Christ. No? Sabi niya, that nation, that he died for that nation. No? So, may ginawa talaga, this is a hidden treasure, no? <laughs> Ang kaapala ng bansang Israel. No? So, uh, on the cross, tingin nyo pa, isa pa. On Isaiah chapter 53, isa pa. On Isaiah chapter 53. Isaiah chapter 53, verse uh, 8. Tingnan natin sa pa. Verse 8. Itong uh, uh, passage, kung gaano ka uh, kamahal ako nito. Can you imagine God purchasing? Tingnan nyo dito. 53 verse 8, sabi nyo dito. He was taken from prison and from judgment, and who shall declare his generation? What is that? For he was cut off out of the land of the living, for the translation of my people, uh, okay, the nation of Israel, was he stricken. No? Sinak na siya, no? He was stricken for the nation of Israel. So what hindi yung ano, the life of the Lord Jesus Christ gave for the nation of Israel, no? Not only for the world, but there's something very special for the nation of Israel. Talagang, uh, uh, I don't know how much special ang bansang to. No. no, the nation the nation suffered and seen destruction, but in God's sight, it is hidden and it will repeal again its glory. No? Siguro sa ngayon, uh, we can see, uh, uh, we can see the, the nation of Israel na ginagamit ng Panginoon no? as now. No? Uh, their policies, talagang uh, contradict sa uh, Christian living natin no? on our belief of the Lord Jesus Christ. No? There's a lot of judgment. If you can if you can notice, from, you start from uh, uh, from the year 10,000. May kita mo dyan yung uh, a lot of persecution na naranasan ng mga uh, Jew. No? Nagpunta sila ng kampo ko niya. They are persecuted. <laughs> then the latest was the I think here in the member in World War II, right? The Holocaust. No? So they have been persecuted, no? So uh, God sees Israel as his treasure, right? And one day, he will establish it in their glorious kingdom. So there will be a time na talagang uh, nagamitin ng Panginoon itong uh, 
kung uh, hidden na uh, itong uh, itong the nation of Israel no talaga ano nung napakaswerte talaga nila napakapalad pa they are very uh, blessed this uh, this nation of Israel kahit na even though they are very disobedient to the word of God no so ano makikita natin dito na no so talaga na uh, since itong nation of Israel to no, theoretically it's good that we invest on that nation in what way kung at may pwede ba tayong magkaroon? We submit to their policy. Hindi naman siguro magaling mga policy na nung government policy. I think it's good that we uh, we pray for this nation. Right? We pray for this nation. Remember in Romans chapter 10, look at uh, a whole. Hindi naman yung heart ni Paul sa nation of Israel. Romans 10. Hindi naman yung heart niya sa nation of Israel. <coughs> Sabi niya, Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is what is that? That they might be saved. No? So they don't pass. So they don't. Ano? So they don't need to call that this nation should be saved. Because they're also human being, right? No. Kung magagam, kasi they're a good example na sa nation. So we invest our time to pray for this nation, right? That they will be saved. Hindi lang yun na we pray also that the that they will be blessed by material things. Pagdating yun, sabi nga ng Romans 2 po, by the goodness of God, repent, uh, repentance, right? And then, uh, pwede rin na uh, we can also pray for them na kahit pa paano ask the Lord na persecute din sila ulit. <laughs> Palo-paloin din. You know why? Because if you try to study from the book of Judges, no? Judges and the more that when God allow persecution to them, dumalapit sila, they go back to the Lord, right? And sometimes you can see the nation of Israel now, Maraming nangyayari na bomba dito, bomba doon. Ah, bomba dito, bomba doon. Uh, I think that is God's uh, way na to, uh, uh, to persecute them. But the, the problem is, I think they don't want to submit on that kind of... Uh, kung maiintindihan lang nila. Remember in the book of uh, Sedeca, uh, in uh, 2 Chronicles, 2 Kings, remember Sedekaya? King Sedekaya? Remember that story? Uh, God... Uh, sinabi niya kay Jeremiah na sabi mo kay King Sedekaya to submit to the kingdom of Babylon. Remember that one? Because that when, uh, when the, the kingdom of Judah was uh, invaded by Babylon yan, right? Remember that one? So sabi ni Jeremiah, mag-submit ka lang dito sa, 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 sa government na to, the Babylonian Empire. You just submit, huwag mo sila naman. But the problem is, lumaban siya, no? Lumaban pa rin siya, no? Uh, and he asked also the nation of Egypt to tulungan sila to fight against uh, the nation of Babylon in the temple of Sakamila. But what happened to said the king said the guy? Remember, he was blinded and his children had died. No, never said. No? Sometimes it's good. No? So we had to invest in something that we had to pray for this nation. There are very special things about this nation. No? And then someday, may kita natin. No? And then, ano ba yung mga practical application naman natin? Remember, this is a person na practical application naman sa atin. No? Remember nyo yung word na invest dito kasi nakita nyo yung field. Eh. There is uh, a treasure on the field. It's like a kingdom. No? Remember, uh, it's like an investment. <coughs> so you invest on the kingdom. No? You invest. Me and my wife, we have, uh, we have a savings. No? We have a savings from the bank and then uh, we have a small investment. Uh, but we invest on the government. The government will really invest. In the after five years, we can get that money. Hindi naman gano'ng kalak yan. We always invest. Remember the, the company Pure Foods? Remember Pure Foods? Right? It was, it was owned by Ayala Corporation. Right? Until they sell it to uh, SMC, San Miguel Corporation, year 2001. Why? Why the Ayala Corporation sell it? Because they see the future of telecommunication in the Philippines. So they sell the Pure Foods and then they invest more to Group Telecom. So gano'ng din yun na. Even the Jew, even the Jew, uh, the uh, the good investment in the government, their good investment in the uh, government. But si, uh, remember the Zionists, right? The mga Zionists, no? uh, they invest in the government. The power sila sa mga government, especially in 1800s. Uh, mga Zionists, they uh, invest money to the government, which at that time there's a lot of war. No? So invest, invest sila sa government, power tang sila na power tang, power tang sila na power tang. Also, a lot of his children nag-invest sila sa pautang. Kaya nga, dum dumating yung time, they influenced the, the nation of Europe. Yung mga European, na influence nila. Yung mga scientists. Dahil maraming investment sila sa mga Europe. And then that time, 
Implementation nila mga Europe to declare that nation of Israel should be recognized as a nation, right? So, so no 1948, 163 out of 193 nations, bumoto to recognize the the nation of Israel, 163, including, including the Philippines, no? Kasi lahat may mga pautang sila sa mga bansang yun, no? So they have a lot of loans sa mga, no? No, even, uh, even the country of the Philippines, we have uh, loans to, uh, sabi nga nila, the Jew was uh, the one who uh, controlled the money in the world. No? Remember uh, President Duterte? Remember that one? What happened to him? He opened the Jew, right? Remember that one? He opened the Jew. But remember, before he opened the Jew, he already opened a lot of nations, right? Pero sa Jew lang siya nag-surrender ng subdita, I'm sorry. Why? Because the Jew holding the money. <laughs> they are holding the money. No? They are holding the money. So, so don't think that even as we invest in the kingdom of God, no? this one is teaching. So, nakita, we already see what is, what is the God's promises for us, right? Uh, in the kingdom of heaven, uh, we will have a treasure there, right? So, it's good that we believe in the Lord Jesus. We should invest on that kingdom. Like we invest our money to the kingdom of God, to the kingdom of heaven. Because maybe that will be the result. Imagine you can bring your family in the kingdom, right? Kaya nga tayo nandito, why we are here? So that we can know the promises of God, right? We can know what the Lord Jesus Christ teach us. Teach us. We can know about what, what will happen in the future, right? So we should, I think as a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ, we should invest our time, we should invest our money on this kingdom. Parang ito yung tawag ito, give by that sir. Nakita niya kasi maganda yan. So give by here, si invest. Amen? So nakita natin theoretically is the hidden treasure is the nation of Israel. No? So number two na makikita natin dito is uh, tinatin, the pearl of great price. Okay. Verse 45, it's like the same uh, verse 45. <coughs> yeah. Di ba ako magbilis sa inyo? Okay lang. Verse 45, the Bible said here, uh, again, okay, this is again, again, the kingdom of heaven is like a, unto a merchant man seeking godly pearls who when he had found one pearl of great price, no? this is one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had and bought it, no? and bought it, sabi dito, no? remember that this one that the, the, that the sinner doesn't Seek God. Tanda natin dito, this is a merchant looking for a, for a good pearls, no? Remember, parang, it's like the Lord Jesus Christ, right? The merchant is always going in different places, right? You go, remember, if you're a merchant, no, you always go to the different places. Just like the same with the Lord Jesus Christ, he was in heaven, and then he comes to earth. He seek for the sinners, right? So, may kita niyo rito, no? So, uh, the sinner doesn't seek Christ, but Christ find the sinner, no? Dito yan, no? So, the pearl, literally, the pearl represents what is it? The church. Ayan, the church. Bakit kaya? Bakit kaya represent as a church, no? Ah, the Bible makes uh, distinct from between Jew, Jews, Gentile, and the church. In 1 Corinthians chapter 10, yan, 10.32, pagkatapos ng, uh, yan, uh, where po the po yung ito, think, do it for the glory of God, no? Verse 32, of 10, 30, uh, first Corinthians 10, 32. Give not offense, neither to the Jews, ayan, tingnan natin, nor to the Gentiles, nor to the Church of God. So, they were said distinct, they were distinction, no? no? And then, uh, the Bible said, today, the Church, the Church, the body of Christ is composed of living Jews and Gentiles. So, the Church is now composed of the Jew, uh, Gentiles, and Gentiles, no? In Ephesians chapter 2, tingnan pa mga verses. Ephesians chapter 2. Baka may mga tanong muna kayo. Kaya muna. Ayan. So, makita the pearl. Doon natin the church. Ha? Okay. 2. Uh, Ephesians chapter 2 verse 11. <clears throat> Wherefore, remember that ye being time past Gentiles in the flesh, who are called uncircumcision, uncircumcision by that which is called circumcision in the flesh made by hands. No. Made Gentiles and the Jew. Dating nila lang. So there is a Jew and the Gentiles, okay? Now, unlike the most other gems, the pearl is a unity. It cannot be carved like a diamond, no? Sabi, hindi mo mahuhugis, no? Uh, talagang na-design talaga is a 
Silpen. Nung kanina, I'm watching how uh, how the bird is produced. No? Mamaya. No? Uh, Nakakatawa siya. No? How, I check in the YouTube kung paano how, how the bird is produced. No? Okay, the church is what? It's a unity. Okay? It's a unity. No? If you place any curve, no? no? Pero mga gold, di ba? Uh, what is called? Diba? Sa mga diamond, twig, or karat. Twig, hindi ka lang kayo mo. No? no, this one talagang... Ano siya? No? Sa pearl talaga siya, sa ulit talaga siya. No? So, so uh, you, like a pearl, the church is a product of what? Product of suffering also. No? The church is also a product of a suffering. Tingnan natin ng Ephesians chapter 5. Ephesians chapter 5. Verse 25. <clears throat> Look at this one. Husband, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. He gave himself for it. No? May kita natin dito, no? It's the part of suffering. Alam man natin what happened to the Lord Jesus Christ, right? Alam natin, he was uh, beaten, and then he was uh, crucified to the cross, and he died, no? That is for the church. Remember in Acts 20, 28, no? He purchased it with, the church was purchased by, by his blood, no? So, ganun din naman yung pearl, especially the pearl, kapag pinag-aralan mo yung pearl. Napuputus ang pearl if there is a pain, Right? If you study that, there is a pain, no? Example, if there is... You know the, you know the oyster, right? Hindi yung shark, 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 shark. It's the oyster, right? So it was enclosed. So any parasite na pwede pumasok sa loob ng... Uh, sa loob niya. Or any uh, sun na... Uh, sun na pwede pumasok sa loob niya. Because they are very sensitive, right? So, ito ang example na yun sa parasite coming inside of the uh, shed, inside the shed, yung kanyang mantle. So, talaga atomat, it, was, it will be covered by, uh, gradually, no? Gradually. Dandan, it will be covered like a white coating, no? So, just check the YouTube kung paano yan. <laughs> because I don't know how, uh, so that's how I understand how, so, merong suffering. Kaya napupunas because he hurt. He hurt, no? The oyster was hurt because that's why the bird is uh, produced, okay? So, ganun din ang Panginoon, no? Uh, sabi na, pearl are produced of a living organism and oyster as a, uh, as a uh, result of an injury. Okay? Tignan nyo rin dito. No? Sabi nga rito, a pearl grows gradually. No? Okay. Yung pearl talaga, dahan-dahan luma, lumalaga, lumalaki. It's not an uh, instant. No? It's not an instant. No? If you study that pearl. No? The church grow gradually as the spirit convicts and converts the sinner. No? So, ganun din ang church, no? No one can see the making of the pearl for it is hidden in the shell of the oyster and under the water. No? So, ganun din ang church, no? We cannot see how the pearl grow, right? Because it was under the water or under the oyster, right? Even today, no? Even, the, even today, today, nobody knows that we are growing, right? So, ganun din ang, ano, ang church sa Panginoon. No one can see the growth of the church in the world. The church is among the nation today. So, kung babasahin natin yung uh, water, remember that, oys, that uh, the oyster is also in the water. In Revelation chapter 17, yung water is like uh, a nation, right? They are covered with a lot of nations. So, nobody is noticing that the, the growth of, of our church, of the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Nobody knows that. There will be a time na may kita rin natin yan, no? Okay? So, so in spite of Satan uh, subtle working in this world, Christ is forming this church. Okay? So habang uh, habang busy ang Diablo uh, to destroy us, no? to destroy us, he set up have a lot of this, uh, uh, he have a lot of activity to destroy us, no? Uh, it's like he's a rolling lion, he can uh, But still, no, that the, the church of Christ is still growing, no? So remember this one. He sold all that he had to purchase his church. Yeah. Remember that one. He sold everything for the purchase of his church. No, no. Remember, this is a merchant, right? What is the job of a merchant? He buy and then he sell, right? Pero when you read the scripture here, when you read the here, wala din naman siya dami binenta niya. He didn't say that he sold that bird, right? What the, when we saw the pearl of great price, we were saying, what do you want to say? You're not saying, 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 you
Ganun din naman sa atin. God, resto, uh, God preserve His church. Amen? He keep it. No? So, uh, Satan can do, uh, nothing Satan can do will cause him to fail. There is but one church, a fellow great church, to there are many local churches. Not everyone who is a member of local church belongs to the one church or the body of Christ. It is true that repentance and faith in Christ that we become part of His church. Of course, all true believers might, might, might to identify with the local church where He can worship and serve. Okay? So, if the church was very important to the Lord Jesus Christ, Siyempre, dapat ganun din tayo. Right? Right? We should also, uh, we should also give all to the church. We should love one another. We should have our one unity. No? Because the church is very important for us. God purchased by His blood. Imagine mo yun. Just only to restore us. Ganun na ang Panginoon. And then, you can see the church is growing slowly and slowly. You know, yung instant. And then, there will be a time it will be revealed to us. No? Amen? So Jesus Christ purchased uh, so that he, he so so that us he can possess us eternally. Amen. Very no. So if you can see, uh, I don't know how you can imagine that one, right? Uh, the Lord Jesus Christ is uh, preserving us for eternity, right? So kung ganon kahalaga ang church, how much more? Uh, kung ganon kahalaga ang church, how much more how we should we give uh, appreciation? And give, a, uh, give a special time to the Church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. So you become a member of the Church by believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? By faith and repentance of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. So we learned already from the three parables of the hidden treasure is what? It's the nation of what? Israel. Israel. That's a very special uh, things about the Lord. The nation of Israel. So we should pray for that nation. Right? We invest that nation. I think it's good to invest about the praying for them. Pray for the missionaries. Last time I watched a uh, mission uh, conference in Bethan. Ang dami nag-surrender sa, I think, sa nation of Israel. I don't know kung gaano ba receptive yung, I don't know how, how receptive is the nation of Israel to the gospel now. But we should pray for them. We should pray for this nation. We should pray for the, the missionaries going to, uh, to the nation of Israel. And then we, we see the, the pearl of great price. What is that? That is what? The church. Okay. So the pearl of great price. The, the pearl of great price. No? So lastly, let's look about uh, number three. Number three. Let's see. 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 Any thoughts? Remember this one, this kingdom of heaven, any thoughts? Mostly, investing on the kingdom of heaven, ng uh, dalawang points. No? Any points? Uh, baka meron kayo pa doon, no? Let's open again, on verse uh, 47. Okay? Let's go. 47, okay? Again! Okay, ayan, again. Ano? <laughs> again! <laughs> Sa iba, hindi nakakarinit eh. Sorry na lang kayo. <laughs> Somebody's laughing with that uh, diction. Ano? Sorry, hindi ko. Wala kayo sa laktar. Hindi naman kayo. <laughs> so, again. Again. The kingdom of heaven is like unto a what? Unto a death. That was cast into the sea and gathered of every kind. Okay. Which when it was full, they drew to shore and sat down and gathered the good into vessels but cast the bad away. So shall it be at the end of the world. The angels shall come forth and severe the wicked from among the just. That's what. And shall cast them into the furnace of fire. There shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Now, if you read this, uh, this uh, verses from 47 to 40, it's almost like the same as the written tears, right? No? Like in the other style of the tongue, the written tears, no? But you can see here, no? See, you can see, the preaching of the gospel is like a huge what? Huge dragnet. Huh? Which of the guys is like a huge dragnet. What is dragnet? What is the difference between the casting net between the dragnet? <coughs> so, eh. Remember uh, in the when the Lord Jesus Christ called uh, Peter uh, Simon, remember that one? They're using the casting net. No? Cast. Uh, cast. But this one is a dragnet because there is a gather. They gather. Even, you know, it's like a net like this. And then there is a boat here. Well, I don't know if you saw that one in uh, Discovery. 
They got this a lot. That is a drug that malaki. Uh, okay. A big one. It's a big one. Alright? Casting net is like small. Oh, you see the fish? You throw. Alright? And then drug is different. Remember if they are harvesting uh, sardines? <laughs> drug net. Yeah, drug net. Yeah. Drug net. Okay? That's a drug net. Oh. This one they call this one and this subject. The net is, is a, a drug net. Oh. So you see here, the preaching of the gospel is like a huge drug net that gather all kinds of fish, some good and some bad. Okay. That's kind of preaching. That's why preaching is like, a, remember in the soul, parable of the soul, just, it just, it just only throw the seeds, right? Everywhere, no? Ganun din naman sa pagsasya ng gospel, no? You just only throw it. Okay? Throw it, gather all. Hindi tayo, ano, that's why in the Bible, they don't use the illustration of what? Fishing, rod. They don't use the fishing rod. Hindi tayo na may miwet. Okay, you come to this church, I will give you salary, you know? Uh, oh, you accept the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> no? Merong bait, merong, uh, there's a bait. So that is not kind of a preaching. You throw something, uh, but here, the, here in the preaching of the gospel is like a casting of net or a, a throwing the, the net. No? So gather all kinds of fish, some good and some bad. Now, the professing church today has its true and false believers, right? Correct? Remember, uh, I hope you listened to Brother Joven last week. <laughs> but I read uh, his notes. <laughs> I read his notes. No? It's like a wind and tears. Remember that one? At the end of the age, God will separate them. Okay? So, it'll be when the Lord returns to earth, He will separate believers and what? Unbelievers. These are the living who are not a part of the church or Israel. Okay? So, you can see here in this verse, as mer- mer- uh, in verse. Uh, in verse 47 and 14, there's two kind of period. You know, there is a period of what? There is a period of what? Fishing. Okay? And then there is also a period of what? Separation. Uh, uh, when, the, when he gather and he makes food, and then they separate. So, we separation that time. So, today is the day of what? Today is the day of fishing. So, we should fish. Sino yeah. ba we should preach. We should preach the gospel now. Okay, the day is because there will be a time. There will be a day of separation. Okay, I hope your family is included on that fishing. No, included on that. Uh, right. So that that is the same like that. No, this gentile should be dealt with uh, within uh, within righteousness. The saved will enter into the kingdom, but the unsaved will be cast into the furnace of fire. There will be the day of fishing. There will be a day of separation. No? If you listen to Brother Joel last week, no? uh, they will separate. And those, those bad ones will be thrown to the furnace of fire. Amen? So I hope you are included on that kind of the good fish. Right? <laughs> or you bring a good fish. <laughs> so inside the church. No? So today is a fishing. That is a good thing that we should also uh, just preach the gospel of the Lord Jesus. Right? Just like an egg. Just throw it, just uh, pull it. Walang ano, walang pain. Walang pain, di ka na. We're not doing a fishing rod. We're doing the net of kind of fishing net. No? Like a casting, you cast, you just throw it. Then, so what's significant if one, it will be kahit, if you're preaching the word of God, there will be person who will be saved. Ang dami yan, okay? Merong masisave, no? Don't, do not be discouraged if there's someone uh, do you think that sometimes, sometimes it's just like what I've been before? I'm not sure if I'm going to share it. But you know, don't be discouraged. No? Just preach and preach the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. You don't know. Maybe um, you don't know what you have already uh, put inside the heart of the man. Amen? So, okay? So, as a conclusion, we are blessed by the grace of God to be part of that, what? Of the church. Okay? A member of His body. We do not have to worry or fear the dreadful judgment. No. So we do not have to worry about the fearful judgment. But we should worry if our relatives is not included on judgment. Amen? Right? We should not worry, but we should worry about that. Don't no, speak about that. No, about our children, about our wife, our kids, our father, our mother. Hindi nga tayo darating sa 
Jatuhnya betul betul dalam apa yang kita ini mesti ni kita boleh tisha bekas pelu dalam Yesus Kristus. We can bring them to the promise of the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, and then uh, because we are His children, redeemed by His precious blood, we just have to share the message of the gospel to our family and friends before it's too late. Amen. So we learned about uh, the hidden treasure with the the nation of Israel, okay, and the purpose of the church and the next so a gentle nation. Amen. So we ma kung kaya, so may kano kaya, may kano kaya. Any uh, commentary? Do you have any commentary on these verses? Understand? Understand? Ayun yung commentary. Ayun yung commentary. Ayun yung commentary. Ayun yung commentary. Ayun yung Bible kasi yung hindi galing. Ano pang hindi yung malaking Bible? Doon sa... Matthew chapter 14 and chapter 3 verse 44 So kung makikita nyo mayroong verse doon sa baba ito yung mga sa verse 44 yung open Bible doon sa baba yun mayroong may nakalagay ko sa inyo ah hindi lahat pala sorry mayroong kasi na aking nakalagay doon sa Philippians 3, 7, and 8 Bukain natin sa Pilipinas Christo. Brad, komentari ng mga tao. Okay. Medyo rin pati sa tao. Pwede lang ba? Tari? Tari? Yung bang, di ba kilala natin si Paul siya ay sa mga supposed to be siya yung magiging high chick yun. He's high chick. At mayaman din siya, lawyer siya. Pero sabi niya, lahat doon ang mabaki yun is counting niya as lost. Ye doubtless, sabi niya, I count all things but lost. Paul sabi niya doon, for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ, Jesus Christ my Lord for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and to count but down but down sabi niya para daw sa mga yung 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 gusto niya maging uh, uh, supposed to be yun ang mga kanya that I may win Christ sabi niya daw so kung babalikan natin yung yung verse 44 sabi niya napansin ko lang kasi na nakalagay dun sa Bible ko yun sa Bible so so uh, sa commentary line right now yung uh, sabi niya doon the kingdom of heaven is like unto treasure so yung sa akin yung the treasure means is the gospel of Christ no? but when a man found it sabi niya doon he hid it sabi niya doon alala niyo si David that when David sabi niya I hid it in my heart sabi niya doon new word I hid it in my heart tapos then mayroon siyang joy no? when, when the man found the gospel of Christ he has joy in his heart at sabi niya doon, he sell it all things that he had. Like, like, like Apostle Paul, he counted all means, means he, he iniwan niya lahat yung mga bagay na nakapag-listor doon sa matang ma, ma, mahanap niya yung, yung treasure niya. Iniwan niya lahat, like Paul, he, I counted all loss. No? Parang lahat pibilita niya parang uwin to buy that thing. Amen. So is the same true with verse 45, no? It's parallel to the door, no? And nung nahanap niya yung godly bears, ay nagkaroon, he, 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 ah, naging, ah, inigilinda niya na, sabi nga doon sa Bible na yung, the wife, ah, yung, yung makitid or done is, is, ah, bihira na makapasok doon, bakit dahil, iniwan niya lang yung mga kapag, yung mga kapag distract yung mga kapag nung mayroon akong isang buwan na kilala na isang, ah, mayroon yung isang dalami na testimony niya na isa siyang uh, CEO sa isang internet 
Tapos nung, nung nalaman niya about the gospel of Christ, kasi yung internet nila is nagpapalabas nila ng mga rated. Um, and then, he resigned immediately. Sabi na doon, and sabi na doon, why did you resign? Because he found the, the most...